Hey, this is Riddle. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if it's your first time, where we cover all kinds of topics. But today, the topic is how to save your orchids. So, you know, you see those amazing bargain orchids at Home Depot or maybe Costco, and you just can't resist because initially they're so beautiful when you bring them home and they last for a good month or two or three, or depending on how well they are packaged, they're just amazing, amazing plants. But like me, if you're a plant lover and you keep killing the orchids, no matter what they tell you, you're just left kind of baffled. Why can't I keep these things alive? Underwater, overwater, I just can't do it. They keep dying. I finally figured it out. The problem is the majority of the orchids, when you buy them, are stuffed into these plastic containers full of sphagnum moss. Now, sphagnum moss is not only highly acidic, which isn't great for orchids, but it also holds moisture and it smothers their roots because orchids are apophytic, which means they grow open air, usually on the bark of trees. So as soon as you get your orchid home, what you wanna do is get it out of that pot and out of that sphagnum moss and into some bark. And that's just, that's the, that's the trick. Now. I like clay containers because they breathe even more so for the orchids. I think it's a lot healthier for them. Or you need to uh, get a container that has open holes because they really, really need to breathe and they need a lot of air going through their root systems. So if you want to keep your orchid so it reblooms like this one is spiking for years and years and years, as soon as you get them home, make sure that they're not packed in these plastic containers in the sphagnum moss get them in some orchid bark right away. Now another tip is eventually in a year or so, this bark will break down. And as the bark breaks down, depending how large the pot is and how well you have it packed or how small the orchid bark is, it becomes more acidic and again holds on to more moisture and your orchid will not like that. So you do have to repot the orchid in larger, less uh, decomposed pieces of bark from time to time. Some people say once a year. And that's it. That's the trick to keeping orchids alive. So thank you for coming to my channel. If you enjoy my quick money-saving tips, organic gardening, do-it-yourself, fix-it things for the house, art, and occasional witchcraft and magic, please subscribe. It helps. Take care of yourselves and let's take care of each other because I believe how we treat each other on the streets is our ultimate reality. Bye, folks.